Hey, what's happening? What's happening, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I mean, these days, it's been hella cold, man. You know, I'm buckled up. As you can see, I'm just chilling, chilling. You know, I've just had my cappuccino here. But um, yeah, guys, so there's, there's, there's this thing, guys. I'm not sure if you have noticed, right? Um, brokers hit your stop loss when you are sleeping at night. Most brokers not all brokers but some of the brokers do what they actually hit your stop loss when you are sleeping at night hence that is why i also switched over to triple afx because dark i never really saw that thing happening right so triple afx has been like you know uh, uh treating me well and stuff like that right so yeah that doesn't really happen quite often right so you know i just sleep peacefully wake up my trades are still you know running well but dog a lot of these famous brokers while you are actually sleeping they'll definitely hit your stop loss right so you, you know and funny thing or sad thing is you know they hit your stop loss and then when you wake up in the morning you check could see right now your take profit would have been hit or you know you would be running in deep deep profits and stuff like that right so you know that's that's actually sad you feel me to 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 actually see but uh, yeah, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the ways that you can actually override this, whereby you can just simply place a trade and you can sleep peacefully, guys, and stuff like that. There is, if you still want to remain, you know, with your broker and stuff like that and not wanting to switch over to a broker that is not a market maker or a broker, because some brokers are actually ma market makers, meaning they are against the traders. They are not for the traders. They are against uh the traders right so the the broker that i'm using as you guys know is triple afx you know i've never experienced uh any problems with it you can just sleep at night knowing that except like, you just wake up uh your trades are going to be running smoothly and stuff like that right so um you can also check it out the link will be in this video's description you can try it out and see how it goes but as for me doc i haven't faced any much challenges using this broker dog right so let me just show you guys how you can actually override this because Trust me, even if you do have yourself a profitable forex trading strategy, you know, if this continues on happening, you're not going to be profitable, right? So you need to place trades and, you know, your trades have to run smoothly and stuff like that, right? So without me talking much, let me just quickly show you guys how you can override this thing that brokers do to some of you guys. So guys, there's this thing that is called online wallet. So instead of finding your trading account, you might actually want to find an online wallet. For instance, let us say that you had planned to fund a trading account with a thousand US dollars, right? So let us say that you are going to take the thousand US dollars and fund maybe and put that uh, thousand US dollars on Skrill, uh, PayPal, PayPal, or uh, crypto address, etc right so depending on which deposit method your broker actually uh, uh, um, uh, uh, accepts here right so now instead of finding this thousand US dollars to your trading account and let us say that you are going to risk maybe say 10 percent of this account right basically we want to find an account that we are going to be able to go full matching on right so stick with me guys as as you will understand what i'm saying right so now, let us say that you have just analyzed and then you see a trading set type on USD JPY, right? On USD JPY, and you are planning on risking 10% on this account, right? So basically, I mean, on this, uh, uh, on this particular trade. So what you are going to then do is you are going to come onto your, let us say your screen, your screen because I use screen most of the time, right? So you're going to come here on screen and then you are going to deposit 100 US dollars to your what to your trading account you are going to deposit how much 100 us dollars to your trading account right so this 100 us dollars is 10 percent of what of how much of a thousand us dollars uh, of a thousand us dollars right so remember that you said you are risking 10 percent of your trading capital right so we didn't find the thousand us dollars on our trading account but we found it on screen right so now let us say now that you actually have funded an account with 100 us dollars which is the 10 percent that you are you are going to risk right so now this means now that we are going to risk 100 percent of what of these 100 us dollars right we want to we want to go full matching right and why do we want to risk a uh, hundred percent 
of this capital why do we want to risk 100 percent of this capital or oh, 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 of this capital right so we want to risk 100 percent right why because we are trying to run away from what is called a stop loss right we are trying to run away from what is called a stop loss right so we do not want to put a stop loss on our trade why because when you are asleep a broker then hits our stop loss right we are trying to run away from a what from a stop loss right so if you took this thousand us dollars and then you funded it on your trading account and then you were like okay sharp i'm going to risk 10 percent um oh, 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 on this usdjpy trade obviously you would actually need a what you would actually need a stop loss why because you have to protect your you you have to follow proper risk right but right now we have just taken this 10 percent and we've just funded it on this trading account and we are going to go full margin on this hundred us dollars account right because we are trying to run away from what we are trying to run away from what is called a stop loss right so now the second tool that we are going to be using is we are going to be using myfxbook.com right this is where we are going to be able to calculate our risk right so this is going to be a, a, a bit tricky for some that you know started trading yesterday but yeah it's it's, it's not really a big deal right so now i'm going to go over to my desktop and i'm actually going to show you guys um what you then do on my fx book and stuff like that but you know just to recap on this guys right so you have a thousand us dollars trading capital and you are risking 10 percent of this thousand us dollars instead you are going to take this 1000 us dollars you are going to find it on screen and it is going to sit there on screen and then each and every time you see yourself a trading opportunity maybe say usdjpy right and you are risking 10 percent you are going to fund the 10 percent of the thousand us dollars in order for you to trade what in order for you to trade this usdjpy set type why because we want to go full matching right we want to go full match so that you can avoid putting a stop loss that these scam brokers do what that the scam brokers take away when we are sleeping at night right so let me just go over to my fx book guys and let me show you what i'm actually talking about okay guys so i'm on my desktop right now and as you guys can see we are on my fxbook.com so basically here guys you can clearly see that it is written where currency pair whereby right now we are trying to calculate um the 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 the, uh, the lot size that you are supposed to use in order for us to risk um in order for us to risk uh, uh, uh the whole of our 100 us dollars so that you cannot put a stop loss you are running away from putting a stop loss right so now um what you come here currency pairs you guys can see there you just simply put usd jpy uh usd jpy okay usd jpy there we go right and our account size right we have a hundred us dollar account right there remember and then our risk ratio is 100 percent. we want to go full margin so that we can not put a stop loss we do not want our stop loss to get stopped out while we are asleep right and then our stop loss right there you just simply uh, 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 calculate your entry point and where where you where you would have put your stop loss right <clears throat> excuse me right so let us say that your stop loss would have been 25 pips right uh, and then you go to calculate right there there we go so you can clearly see that uh where it's where it's say, saying sizing it is saying 0 0.61 lots so in order for us to go full matching in, in order for us to risk all of our 100 us dollars we have to up use a lot size 0 0.61 guys right so simple as it is guys right so you then apply this right you then apply that so now when your stop loss is meant to be hit when your stop loss is meant to be hit that is when probably your your account is going to do what is going to blow right when your stop loss is hit that is when your account is going to be blown right so you know let me just somehow try and uh unpack this for you one last time in a manner that you can basically understand it right so remember we said that you know brokers they take out your stop loss when when you are asleep at night right so 
now you are going to be risking 100 percent of that 100 us dollars right and when your stop loss has to be hit that is when your 100 us dollars account is going to be blown remember here we are just ra running away from putting a stop loss why because these brokers they take out your stop loss not all of them they take out your stop loss um when you are basically asleep so let me know what you think about this way of trading guys you know let me know if this is going to help you or not but you know if you want to switch to a broker that doesn't do this you can just simply go to triple afx guys you know i'll also leave the link in this video's description you can check it out see you on the next one goodbye